Three tips on how to get anything you want. Hello, Tom. I know about your success, about your YouTube channel. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more. Saludos, Tomas. So I'm still at the Alibaba office and uh, ignore the noise around me, ignore the people walking around me. I'm actually in the midst of their office. So I'm, I'm trying to make good use of my time. So I'm making these videos wherever possible. Today, we're going to talk about three tips on how you can get whatever you want. Of course, we talked about like hard work, you know, hard work gives you luck. We talked about taking a big goal, big objective, breaking it down into small pieces and planning it out and uh, doing everything you need to do every day to make it happen. So if you haven't heard about me talking about those things, watch my other videos. Those are those those things are important. Uh, they will help you succeed. They will help you get whatever you want. But today I'm going to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about three different things that will help you. And they're actually all important as well. So first, I want to talk about focus and concentration, right? It's funny that I'm talking about this because I'm terrible at focus and concentration. You know, like I'm the kind of guy that wants to do everything. I want to do this. I want to be involved in this business. I want to open that business. I want to run this project. I want to create a YouTube channel. So usually I have like 47 things happening all at the same time. And I'm like super busy and, uh, you know, I cannot focus on one thing and make it really, really good. So that is my weakness. And, you know, like I have a lot of very good mentors that tell me, Tom, you know, you should not be doing that. You should just, you know, focus on one thing at a time, right? They all tell me the same thing. And then my response to that is, well, you know, Elon Musk, you know, he does many things. He does PayPal, he does SpaceX, um, he does um, Tesla, right? That would be my answer. And my mentors will say, well, but you know, you're, you're not Elon Musk, all right? Okay, so I think for people that want to do many, many different things at the same time, uh, you need to have certain skills. You need to be very good at uh, you know, remembering things. You have, if you have like 17 projects going on at the same time, you need to remember the details of 17 projects. You must have a very good memory. Most people don't have that. So if you're not that, then don't try to do 17 things at the same time because that's a guaranteed way to fail at everything that you do. Also, um, you know, in order to do many different things at the same time, you need a, a great team behind you. You need teams that you can trust, you can delegate to your team, right? Without that, don't try to do 17 things at the same time because that's just not gonna work out. So back to the point, uh, focus and concentration. My mentors tell me, you know, uh, focus on the few, not the many. Focus on a few things and do them very, very well is the key to most people's success, all right? When you focus on being angry, let's say you're always focused on uh, something unhappy in your life, you focus on that, you'll just become more angry. You are what you focus on, right? If you focus on happiness, you know, how life is great and you know, how everybody loves you and so on, and then you'll feel more happy, right? If you focus on problems, why this doesn't work, why that doesn't work, why this is failing, why that is failing, you will get more problems. And if you focus on solution, how can I solve this problem? This solution, let's try that solution. When you focus on solution, you'll get more solution. Right? You are what you focus on. So focus is a very powerful tool for you to get whatever you want. Yeah. And you have complete control over your focus. You know, if you, if you say you cannot control your focus, well, you're, you're lying because you have complete control over your focus. You choose what you focus on. You choose what you think about. So how do you build focus? You know, like how do you build concentration? Most people are not taught how to focus on something. Your parents probably never told you how to focus, right? If you have kids, you probably tell your kids to focus on schoolwork, focus on eating your dinner, focus on, but did you ever teach them how to focus? Probably not. Most people don't really know how to focus. So today I'm going to share some tips with you. To build your ability to focus, you know, start small. When I go to a restaurant and I see couples, boyfriend, girlfriend, dining at the restaurant, and uh, it's a very interesting phenomenon in Vietnam where, you know, you see them like do this. They're not talking to each other. They're on each other's phone. And then the meal comes, they're like eating, but they're doing this. They're not talking to each other. That is 
a perfect ex example of not focusing, right? They're doing so many things at the same time. They're spending time with their loved ones, they're having dinner, and they're also using social media, right? Uh, that is a very bad example of focus. And unfortunately, most people are trained to do that. And that's why they cannot focus. So why not start very, very small, okay? So take one thing, eating dinner. So when you eat dinner, just focus on eating dinner. Don't do anything else, right? Start small like that, right? Master that. When you're eating dinner, you're just eating dinner, okay? Move on to a different thing. If you are spending time with your girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, or whatever, you know, focus on that. Don't spend time with your girlfriend while you're playing video games, right? That is not focus. So when you spend time with your girlfriend, really spend time with your girlfriend. Focus your entire energy on her, right? Talk to her. She's the only person in your mind. Trust me, that's going to improve your relationship a hundred times if you do that. Because I see so many couples, you know, they sit together, they eat together, but they're not talking to each other. And those relationships are just in the process of dying. So now you understand how to focus. You do one thing at a time and you only do that one thing. You do not get distracted. When you talk to your girlfriend, something else is happening. Your phone rings, you ignore it. Do not allow any external things to interrupt you, right? Focus. When you're talking to the girlfriend and you know TV comes on, ignore it. And when your focus drift away, bring it back, bring it back, right? Don't let it drift away. So when you can master that, the next step is for you to extend the duration. Let's say you focus at uh, writing your school paper. Focus on that. First you try 10 minutes, focused 10 minutes, maybe today. Tomorrow you try 15 minutes. The day after you try 20 minutes. So you're extending the duration. and given enough time, you'll become an expert in focus and concentration. And that is a very important skill to have if you want to get whatever that you want that is in life. So the next thing I want to talk about is willpower. You'll be surprised how many people don't finish what they start, even with the most basic things. For example, some people, they cook dinner, they eat dinner, and then they don't wash the dishes, right? They put the dishes in the sink and nobody washes the dishes. So it's not finished. Another example of finishing what you start is, let's say you call a prospect. You're a salesperson, you call a prospect, all right? And then the customer says, ah, we're interested, want to learn more. You have to follow up, you have to follow up. Most people, they don't follow up, you know, they just drop off. Like the customer says, yeah, let's talk. And then the salesperson, they get busy, they have other prospects and they just ignore this prospect. And this prospect never get a follow back call ever. That is starting something, not finishing it. Work on starting something, but always finishing it as your first step to develop your willpower. Always finish what you start. Once you're good at that, then you can move on to the next step, which is always meet your expectation. In your mind, let's say, let's say you're a salesperson again, you know, you wanna make 100 calls today. You set your goal, 100 calls today, no matter what. Always meet that expectation. You're not gonna leave the office until you make 100 calls. Don't give yourself excuse. Oh, I'm tired, I feel sick, I wanna throw up. I feel pregnant, you know, my boobs hurt, whatever. My ass is itchy. Don't give yourself excuses to give up or, you know, cut short of your expectation. If you're gonna do 100 calls, you're gonna make 100 calls. Don't give yourself excuses to stop. And when you can do that, when you can say, meet your expectations, I'm gonna make 100 calls today and every day you make that 100 calls, the next step to develop your willpower is to exceed your expectations. So now I can make 100 calls every day now, but next week I'm gonna make 120 calls. Slowly increasing your expectation for yourself, not what people tell you, not your sales manager telling you, not your boss telling you. You set the goals yourself and you try to exceed it. And that is how you build willpower. And if you're a master at this and you can focus, Man, you're a powerful person. You're a powerful being. You can do anything you want and you can get anything you want. And lastly, I want to talk about something that's also very important, which is, you know, time management. You know, time is a finite resource, just like money, right? Most people have finite amount of money. So for example, let's say you only have $100 in your bank. You have to eat, you have to pay your rent, you have to do many things with that $100. You have to be careful how you spend that $100. Same thing with time. And in fact, time is more precious than money because t money, you can make more of it. 
time you only have so much. There's only 24 hours a day, and you sleep at least six to eight hours of that away. And you have to eat, you have to shit, and then you have to like take care of family and shit. The amount of time you have. On your goals and dreams and mission and vision is actually very small. Maybe you get six to eight hours of that. So you want to make sure you can focus, use willpower, and do all the right things. And you have to choose the right thing. Just like money, you choose where to spend it. You need to choose where you spend your time. If your goal is to, let's say, have a great family, but you spend all your time going to coffee shop with friends, it's not gonna achieve your goal, right? So you need to set your goal. I'm gonna have a great family. Therefore, how much time I must invest in that goal? If you want to build a business, the same. If you want to build a great career, the same. Be very careful where you invest your time. In summary, three skills you need to master if you want to get anything you want. One, you must have focus and concentration. Right? You must be able to work on something and only focus on that for a long period of time, not just five minutes. Long period of time. You must be able to do that. Number two is you must develop willpower, meaning that you must finish what you start. You must meet your expectation, and eventually you must exceed your expectation. You must set expectation for yourself, and you must hit it, right? And number three, you really need to look at how you're spending your time. If you want to be the top sales in your company, then you need to spend a lot of time in sales, not drinking coffee with friends, for example. Right? Take fucking action, and don't be a fucktard, and get whatever you want.